Hey, Joseph here. So you've taken a bunch of great looking 360 photos with these cameras. For example, the photos that I have taken are taken with this Insta360 ONE RS with the HDR mode on. With Kula, you can bundle them into a virtual tour experience easy. By the way, Kula is free to sign up, but for the best virtual tour experience, I recommend getting a Kula Pro account. Once you get the account set up, let's create tour. You can simply create tour, add the title, and upload the images. You can simply drag all the images to be used onto the page. Set the tour settings to have walk-in, fade, slash, zoom, and walkthrough mode on. You may type in some meaningful description in here. Make sure everything has been uploaded and then post them. You can see all the photos have been located at the bottom. If you want to go to the next shot, you can just kind of drag around to look around. And if you want to place a marker, you can simply drag and drop the image and you can place a marker. Once the marker is placed, you can change the image of the marker. You can go to change image and you may click on the built in assets and you can choose whichever that's already built into the website. However, I do like this one, but I need it to be on the floor. So in this case, I'll just check on this to make it onto a floor. And depending on how far you are from that position, you might want to make this slightly smaller. And having a bit of opacity will be helpful so that it kind of blends into the rest of the space rather than being distracting. Usually 40 to 50% or maybe 60% will suffice. For the tour, you may have a lot of thumbnails at the bottom. If so, it will be somewhat confusing for the viewers to navigate around by just looking at many thumbnails. For this, you can do quite a few things. At the bottom, you'll see edit tour. And you'll see that on each of the views, you'll have this icon here, hide in thumbnail bar. So if you want to hide a certain view within the bottom stack, then you can just click on that to remove it from the bottom thumbnail stack. And this will be also a right time for you to check if all the images are showing up in somewhat organized manner in sequence. I had organized all of these photos with numbers in front so that they would be organized when I have placed all of them into my stack. So in order to use that, I can simply choose select sorting alphabetically. But if you want to sort them manually, you can just drag them so that they show up in different order. Also, if you want to delete certain shots, you can delete it. And if you want to add more photos, just like the ones I have deleted, I can go to tour settings and add more posts here. Same thing. I can just add another image here and then post and that would have been added in there. I can go back to edit tour to confirm that has been added and all organized. And I'm going to hide a couple of views more here. And then once I am done, I can hit save. And as I exit out of this and go into the edit again, as I hover over these images, you'll see that the name shows up as 01 front. And I would like to change that so I can change that to front garden, save. And then this one will be foyer. And instead of main area, this will be living room. And you'll notice that the thumbnail is not necessarily something that is recognizable. I rather have a view of the house rather than just looking back. So you can just kind of aim at the angle that you would like. And over here, you can set the heading, which is sort of the starting point of the view to a current. So that that has now been aimed right there so that you get this sort of view and then also take a snapshot and your thumbnail will be updated with this and save and from here it is more of repeating all of these process for all of your photos and the views to complete the whole tour i typically place one two three markers for each photos this will ensure that whomever viewing it will have a clear sequence to follow through or go back. You may be tempted to add a bit more, but it also makes it much harder to manage all the hotspots. If the white ring is too distracting due to the color of the floor, then you can also add a tint to blend in a bit better. As you place the markers, you may notice that you can see the feet of the tripod that you have been using. 
The trick that I learned here is to place an image. So on the photo tab, click on image and you've got the built-in assets and there is this sort of blurred white dot and you can place that over the shape of the tripod. And again, you can set it to a light gray by adding the tint. And you may want to adjust the size a little bit. And I think that is good. So the gray will kind of blend in so that it doesn't grab your attention. And in here, be sure to check as a master, which means that this added image will now show up on all of your views or the photos. If you want to add your own branding, you can certainly do that as well. And as you are trying to go up the stairs, it may be a bit too much to have spot for every landing and such. Simply place an arrow, change the image, and I'm going to remove the tint. And this one will be on the wall instead. And I'm going to add a label second floor and check on only hover. And this one, it'll be somewhat weird for you to have the walkthrough fade in and zoom. So I'm going to keep this one checked as no walkthrough. And this is not necessary, but for extra points, you can click on advance for the rotation and then actually tilt this around so that it marries a view a bit better. And once you have placed it, and as you go to the next view on here, be sure to change the heading so that it is looking at something that you want to look at as you come up the stairs and snapshot. So from this view, I'm going to go back to this initial point. And in here, if I click on this specific view, it's going to jump to this side and maintain this heading think it will be better to look at something like this. So let me move that heading a bit more up and I think that's complete. So those are the basic features of navigation and placement of all of the hotspots, but there are some more that you can do to individual photos to enhance them. Kula has several useful filters and enhancement features built in. You can add the bloom filter to add a bit more saturation to your photos. I think the 100% is a bit too much, but I think around 50% gives you extra bit of color that you need. You can also add a bit more sharpness to the photos to bring out more definitions. I think 70% ish for this photo will be good. And all of these enhancement features have this button over here to apply this setting to all posts in the tour. So you can automatically add 70% of sharpness to all of your photos. Confirm. So that was somewhat quick. If you use these techniques or perhaps tips and tricks, you can create an awesome looking virtual tour quite quickly and easily. What do you guys think? I would also love to see your tours too. So please leave them down in a comment section along with any questions you may have. And I will also leave the link to this example tour in the description. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. And thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.